I just another day of therapy with Dr. Beach. But today, I hope that therapy includes a little gold. Let's stay tuned and find out. Alright, you got the old 30. We know what that is. We gotta dig that. Could be something else too. Like yesterday, uh, we got that big 32 and that giant piece. But I think we got it here. Looks so like a quarter. This is something really big. But I think it's gonna be a quarter. We all think. Uh oh. Where'd it go? Quarter will take it away. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna lose it. Oh man, I think I lost it that quick. All right, it didn't take it. It just moved over to the side where I couldn't see it. There it is right there. We got it. We didn't lose it. All right. All right, we got a little something in the sand here. It's not a penny. It's not a dime. It looks like it could be some kind of jewelry. Ah, it's an earring. It's an earring. That's what that is. I don't think it's gold. Yeah, I look like I see some copper coming through, so we'll back it up and keep moving on. I just kicked my plug out and I got something right here. What is it? Definitely a piece of jewelry. Uh, it's probably junk, but uh, got some ice around, I think, with a little black uh, onyx in it or something there. Ah, we'll back it up and keep moving. I think that's some bling, bling on the, on the ground here. All right, we got a low tie Tim and Denny here. Chain Man Denny. I think I'll call you Chain Man yeah, Denny. I, like that, I think Chain Man. Yeah, well, I like Chain Man. You have found two awesome chains this week. Good job, man. Uh, we expect the same today, buddy. All right, All right let's do it. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's having a little trouble with the detector. His headphones aren't working, so he may be a little handicapped today. All right, we got a nice 17, 15, 16, 15, 16, 14. That's not a nickel. It's not a penny. Uh, it's in a range of gold for sure. So uh, that's why I'm recording. I don't usually try to record anything unless it's got a kind of range that's got some possibility. And I think we got it, maybe. All right, let's see what we got here. No, we didn't get it. I must have missed it. What happened to it? It's gone. How can it disappear? I'm not sure what happened. I think it probably went deeper in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another scoop. Hey, even though I don't hear it, I'm thinking it's deeper. I may be wrong. Dude. There it is. It was. I wasn't even getting a hitting off of it. How about that? But it is a 17, so I'll chase it. And it's not looking good. It's not looking good for the home team. I think it's that right there. A piece of junk. Man, that sounded good too. I don't do that too much, but I actually scooped it up that time. And it's a quarter, but I did that scoop out in the water that time. Alright, we're still finding lots of coins and everybody's having a great time on the beach. It's uh, packed out here today, but uh, we're going to keep getting up right now. Find some gold. Let's do it. Alright, as you can tell by the number of holes I got dug right here. It was a lot of coins in here, and I'm still digging them, so I'm not going to leave yet, but it was, uh, I don't know, six or seven coins I dug right here, um, all ranges, uh, but uh, it's amazing how a lot of the heavy stuff will concentrate all in one spot, it seems like. I'm getting ready to come up on a nice little horseshoe up in here, so uh, that should produce something right there too, so let's keep our stuff together and get going. All right, we got three lifeguards swam out here to try to help this guy, but I don't think he needs any help. I think it's just out too far. They couldn't get a hold of him, so they three lifeguards swam out to check him out. Now, I guess they're telling him to come on in a little closer. Just like the lifeguards are going to head back in now. Just like, all right, lots of lots of uh, rescue people there getting him out of water. Might be a little trouble going out too far, but looks like they got it all under control now. Alright, 
the gold still eludes us. But we're still trying. We're not done yet. We're done. We're going 40 blocks. It's not me for not trying. That's for sure. Alright, we got about an hour and a half left. And we got 14 blocks to go. So let's work on them. Y'all ready? I need some help. I need some good vibes coming. Alright, let's do it. Well, that's a handful of gray matter right there. Look at that. That is a handful of gray matter right there. All right, we're gonna bag it. I got hooks and everything in that, so we're gonna bag it up, get it off the beach anyway. All right, let's put it up. All right, we got something shining down here. I don't know what it is yet, but it doesn't look like a penny. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't see a lot of rust on it, but hey. You might, I don't know what that is. We'll have to bag it up and check it when we get home. See if there's anything. Well, at least I'm starting to get some hits other than pennies and coins. I see something in the sand right here. Don't know what it is yet. I thought it might be a chain, maybe. It is a chain, look. Oh my goodness, look at that. Could that be real? That could be real. Look at that. That's pretty awesome looking. Let's wash it up. Let's wash it up and see what we got here. Oh, I like the looks of that. Don't see any tarnish on it, but it could just be newly, freshly lost. But it might be, uh, it might be gold. We'll have to check it out when we get home. Awesome. All right, I just got a hit out there. Popped up. I see something shining, right? Oh, I see something here. Could it be a ring? It is a ring. But is it a junk ring? It kind of looks like one of those junk rings that I found before. That's the first ring of the day, though. I like that. I'm going to have to hunt this area really hard. I think it might be like a mood ring. Could be sterling though. I don't know. Awesome. All right, let's back it up and move. I got a hole here I'm digging in, and I got, I got, I tested outside. I got a hit, and I tested the hole and got a hit, so I got multiple targets in that hole. First target's one of these uh, pennies that you run through the machine and puts uh, some kind of logo on or something. All right, we're going to bag that and see what else is in this hole. I think it's a 13, so it could be a, could be a nickel or it could be gold. Still digging tons of coins right here. Uh, I got one right here. Let's check it out. It's uh, let me find it again. There it is. Once I get on top of it, 29, 29, 30. You know what? I'm not even gonna try digging that yet. Let's go down here and just see if we can get the, the pinpointer to find it. Cause I don't think it's very really detailed, true. I think it's right here. There it is. There's a quarter right there near the top. I knew I had a real strong signal. And it'd be right there. All right, let's get this up here. Uh, and let's put this away. I'm still digging lots of coins, but uh, getting close to the end of the day. And I got a couple things I got to check. See if it might be gold or silver. So let's, let's, let's hope so. Anyway. I got my doubts on it, but it could be. All right, let's keep getting up, see if we can find some gold. We don't have much time, less than an hour left. We gotta get some gold, we gotta do it. All right, All right we're gonna call that a wrap. I tell you what, if I don't have gold, it's not from not trying, because I dug a ton of targets today. I don't know how many coins I got, but it's got to be a lot. So uh, let's go back home and uh, sort it all out, see what we got, and I'll do some gold testing. All right, let's take off. Man, it was Coin City today. I dug $7 in coins. That's more than I normally dig. So there's plenty of targets out there. And I did get some bling jewelry. I did get some jewelry, but it's all bling as far as I can tell. But uh, let's check it out. All right. Check out all those coins. My goodness. Lots of coins. Look at all the quarters. Anyway, we did dig a few trash. Man, I saw, I saw that stick up in the sand like that. I just knew that was a ring at first. Pop top. Uh, we do dig a lot of these little tiny pieces of brass and then they give you like an 810 just like a piece of gold wood and something like that you know give you a perfect reading for gold but it's not gold lots of lots of coins like I said I did get some bling I thought this could be gold but just looking at it I'm saying not I didn't even test it I'm pretty sure it didn't and this ring I got right here it's just too light to be gold gold is not light like that so it's some kind of mood ring or something i guess i see any markers on the inside of it but they get a ring that's kind of cool and this thing's got you can see some um a little bit of uh, copper coming through on the back there so i know that's bling and uh i got one of these pennies i'm not sure what it is another little earring bling 
another earring bling some more earrings and stuff like that but nothing that would pay off man I'm still looking for that gold it wasn't for not digging targets I tried I promise you guys I tried today I really did I mean I thought for sure I'd get something today an earring or something gold but it's just been eluding me the last few trips but, but I, dig, I had a good time digging all the coins it is fun just to dig the coins but um uh, one quick update, the battery issue I had yesterday, I found out what it was, it was operator error. And you, this may happen, y'all, actually Denny actually figured it out for me. What it was, was when I was cutting off uh, the other day, I actually hit the wrong button and cut the light on. And I actually hit it a couple times, had it the brightest it could go. Didn't even realize, the sun, I don't see it, you know. So, that, but when I got home, I noticed it. So the light was on max all day, and that's why it ran the battery down so fast. Um, I had my backup battery with me today, but I didn't need it because I cut the light off and it lasted all day. It lasted like six hours, whatever it was I was out there. So it was my fault, um, but we got it straightened out now, know what to do, and we know how to do a backup. If you forget to charge it one night, you could actually take that battery, plug it in, and keep getting up during the next day. So that's a, that's a good point to know from that one. And that battery is just a standard battery. Just people ask me. It's a standard uh, cell phone backup battery. You can get them at Walmart, Costco, wherever you want to get them from, you can get them. You know, So they're all over um, so anyway, uh, if you want to do that, that does work. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is the scoop. The extreme scoop. It is working. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I live with that to start with. This thing, I have put it through the ringer. I've dug giant boulders with it. Um, I've been jumping up and down on it, and you can't even tell I've stepped on it. The thing is still like new. It's awesome. And one of the biggest improvements is this handle right here. Um, this handle is... Uh, made out of plastic. Now I kind of questioned it first. Um, Motus, I think it's uh, yeah, M-O-T-U-S. And Extreme Scoops does sell it. That thing is indestructible. Um, they do, you know. I know y'all. Some of them might have the Raptors. Got like bolts coming out, screws, and all that stuff. That you hit your arm and cut it all. Look at this. There's nothing to cut your hand with that right there. It's all smooth as you're working, and you can run your hand up and down. Not have to worry about cutting it. Man, you can't beat that. ExtremeScoops.com has them. That's X-T-R-E-M-E Scoops.com. So you can check that out. Man, I don't know how I live without this scoop in this hand. This handle when I'm pulling up, you know, big big scoop pulls out of this hand. It works great, man. It's awesome. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along. I'm sorry I didn't get you no gold, but uh, we did have a good time. So uh, please check like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gigmaster. This is the Gigmaster signing off.